Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as a DevOps engineer. Today I'm going to show you the Nagios monitoring tool in Docker. Uh, my previous videos regarding the Nagios in Docker, um, I have deleted those. So the reason for that is uh, loss of my viewers say that uh, those videos are too long. So I've decided to, uh, to create a new video and I'm going to show you guys how to simply um, run the Nagios on docker and one thing I need to tell you regarding this th that um, this docker work okay on the host rather than uh, you add remote clients on this Nagios so the reason for that is that uh, it is running in container so it will work fine on the host uh, and also one thing I need to tell you regarding this is that um, because it is um, quick and easy to deploy so if you want to deploy on multiple host uh, it is best practice to simply you know deploy on the host rather than you add clients uh, into this so I'm going to give you an example uh, on my virtual machine so I'm going to first SSH into my VMware machine I'm going to give the password so I have logged in so first of all uh, I'm not going to tell you in this uh, video how to install docker so uh, there is one container already running I'm going to remove this so you can better understand so I already told you that uh, do not try to add remote host on this Nagio simply install this on the host on which you want to monitor so what we are going to do uh, is to first of all uh, see the images you have to pull the image of uh, JSON River from docker hub simply pull this image and now uh, simply I'm going to tell you that um, go to the my repositories uh, of uh, github I set up a repo on um, github you can download the link or simply go to the quickbooks 2018 batch script type github and from here um, i'm going to provide the link as well so what we are going to do is to um, pull the repo so let me pull it ls so i'm going to make the git and ls okay that's fine and go to the git okay and git i mean git now git in it i've already installed git in it so what i'm going to do is to git clone and name of this repo uh, so all repo will be in the best scripts so we need this Nagios tar file I'm going to copy this Nagios dot tar gz to my root okay let's go to the root and I'm going to extract this tar extract as the gzip so I'm going to extract this we need this I'm going to mount this Nagios folder uh, into that Nagios uh, container uh, sorry Nagios docker container which we will going to make so simply you have to do nothing you have to uh, run this command and I'm going to also paste this command on the YouTube so docker run dash name this is Nagios 4 
so I'm going to mount this because uh, the reason for this mounting is that you don't have to do any settings everything will be in this directory and all settings uh, will be opt negus will be automatically found on this particular directory opt negus etc okay that's fine i'm going to mount the port let's say every e on port 8080 and i'm going to give this image let's see docker ps a is running and uh, my ip is ip version 4 the show is 192.168.1.9 so okay it's running the password is this negus admin if you go to the bottom of this page the password is negus admin and sorry the username is negus admin and the password is negus and if you want to change the password i will also provide the command it is very simple so you can also change the password i will provide those commands okay and also you can google it just you have to run this change password command go to the container in the interactive shell and say bash and you have to run these commands so all settings are here uh, now we are going to uh, check the command in um, check the host position what is the host position of so I as I've already told you that I've set up uh, this uh, these settings for the local host and if you don't uh, there is no need to add you know multiple uh, remote host uh, it will not work properly so it is showing all the settings and uh, this uh, RAM plugin I've created because um, it is not provided or it is might be proprietary which is provided in the plugins section so the thing is that uh, you don't have to do anything you know extraordinary simply just you know download my settings uh, and just mount this and uh, run the container you will uh, find it shortly uh, that uh, all the setting will be detected it will take some time so be patient so let me go to the local host if you want to change the name of the local host simply I will tell you that uh, you have to go to the opt negios and etc directory here you will find go to the objects okay and um, what you have to do is to rename or copy the file uh, local host, uh, local host uh, dot cfg to the servers folder and uh, there it is and rename according to your server suppose your server is uh, server one dot um, pakistan dot pk so uh, rename that according uh, to your server and it will not show the local host or if you want to change the ip of the local host it will display as well so uh, regarding the ram it will show the current ram the ram setting uh, is i have set up according to the centos 7 so you can uh, it is a bash bash uh, script plugin so you can also change um, the ram plugin uh, according to your so you see it is currently saying that uh, ram is critical so uh, i'm going to tell you about the ram setting RAM plugin setting as well. So simply um, go to the change directory opt nagus and libexec. I uh, here you will find all the plugins. So let me see my RAM. First of all, I need to tell you that why the remote 
uh, host will not work if you see the file system is overlay and overlay it is showing the available space is 5.8 gigs and also this dev mapper centos root um, also showing this 5.8 gigs uh, it is on the container if you run these command on the docker container of nagios or any docker container it will provide you the host information uh, the reason i am saying do not add the remote uh, host in it it will uh, the settings will be a lot more complicated and you will not find it uh, effective so the purpose of this video is to make it simple and deploy it more quickly so i'm going to show you the ram currently the ram uh, is uh, very low so what i'm going to do is to change the setting of my ram script okay so ram is showing uh, critical okay why it is showing critical let me tell you that okay the reason for uh, showing this critical ram is that um, it is uh, the nagus is not able to find the my ram plugin in the directory so i've uh, forget to you know set up that plugin in my nagus star so uh, it is not a big thing simply go to the nagus planning if you click this file uh simply copy this and uh, one thing i need to tell you that uh, adjust your ram setting or uh, according to the your centos 7 version so if you are running ubuntu or uh, any other flavor of the linux you have to make changes according to accordingly uh, according to your distribution in this plugin so i'm going to create this plugin simply create a file check underscore mem dot sh and uh, uh, vim is not installed let me install vim first of all in container you have to run this command apt update and then you will install the um, any of um, other stuff you wanna deploy in the container so let uh, it finish it is finished now now i'm going to install the vim editor which i feel comfortable with so also um, as i've told you that you have to check your ram what is your actual ram uh, with that uh, you can adjust your ram settings in my bash script of check mem dot sh so let it finish um vim is going to be installed in our docker container now i'm going to create the check mem check underscore mem for ram i'm going to just simply paste the so one thing i need to tell you the regarding the parameter you see i have set it up to else if else if uh, my ram is uh, i think uh, 18 100 MB suppose so I'm going to change this parameter let's say if it is greater than 1024 MB and and I'm going to also change it is greater than 500 MB or the last parameter I need to change is that um, of critical let's suppose if it is less than 300 MB just sh show me the errors and all this stuff which negatives display I'm going to change check and make it executable and uh, ls hyphen l the you see the ownership belongs to root so ch on uh, it should be the negios user and group sorry negios on check mem dot asset so the, let's check again what is the okay permission and the ownership and group permissions so uh, you will see in a while that 
this critical will uh, go away and also will be uh, deployed okay so you see the current load on the actual server on our local host is this so uh, you will find the graphs as well with this so it is pretty good uh, deployment is easy as I told you if you wanna you know deploy this on AWS as well you can deploy this simply install docker and pull this image and apply my setting so and the ping is okay if you wanna disable the ping go to the local as host setting as I've told you the in local host CSG file and this and just uh, comment out those ping uh, and the root partition it so uh, shows uh, this information you can um, simply also wanna if you wanna see the graph you can see those graphs as well so and the swap usage and total processes are running so uh, this is a very good thing uh, to deploy a uh, quick deployment of Nogius so rather than uh, do the most you know uh, long term version of um, Nagios deployment but I recommend it uh, is that my recommendation if you wanna um, uh, if you wanna see the remote multiple remote hosts on the single um, Nagios uh, you have to deploy uh, that on uh, according to the traditional way just uh, install all the stuff on Nagios and deploy in the, in the legacy way so this is in docker and you will find it useful so let me refresh you will see the ram also work fine because the last check you know why we have to wait is that and, and last check at interval is five minutes so i'm going to pause the video and i'll be back uh, in a moment okay uh, one thing i need to tell you that uh, you have done all these settings now you have to press ctrl d or exit out of the container and simply restart the container to make sure that changes are going to reflect back so we have restarted and after you see it is 7 56 and 17 so you have to wait five minutes for this um, I will be back and one of the best thing about this uh, uh, it is different from the you know traditional setup you can also configure um, it in your mobile as well uh, the free app of Nagios simply if you want to monitor uh, on constitute uh, on uh, on a regular basis on so on a continuous basis um, you can just install you see the RAM is okay now um, the available RAM is this and uh, we can check that as well uh, if let I'm going to show you the difference why I've uh, set up uh, only saying that uh, you should not add remote host if you check the uh, you see available and free RAM is that okay that is fine very close to this because it is changing on continuous basis if I go to the docker contain and docker exec interactive and let's say if I run the same command free hyphen m it is going to show me the host um, information rather than if I do the remote it uh, spits out sometime an error or it gi always give you the host information because of this if you see this free fn edge it will give you the host information if you do this it also from RAM and disk so um, and also the processes are uh, it is showing of the host and swap usage if you see the swap uh, 1023 MB uh, it is showing you the you see 1023 MB and we are in the container so it is all showing us the host information so it's it is easier to deploy and just you have to restart it as I've uh, done it to make sure that um, uh, the RAM plugin started working or uh, simply you have to exit the container and restart it again so that's it guys uh, if you like this video um, please like and subscribe thank you very much Allah Hafiz